What's up everybody? Steven here for Off the Shelf Movie Night to do something that I've been asked about for quite some time and that is a room tour of where I review and just have fun and uh, watch movies and also do my production work. I've been meaning to do this for a while but I just haven't had the time or energy or want really to sort of clean and make it nice looking for you guys. I mean not that it's ever really that dirty because I do use this space and other filmmakers rent it out and that kind of thing. But there was a lot of gear everywhere uh, because of that, because of so much work I do in here. I, I teach class here, I teach film class and that kind of thing. So I often have lots of lights and things up and all that business. So anyway, I've got most all of that put away except for a few things that I use all the time. And, and uh, I think now's a good time since we're all cooped up in our houses to just sort of show you guys where I am quarantining myself. I'm not sick, I'm just choosing to quarantine myself here. And I'll tell you now, I'm gonna do more than one video to sort of cover everything in here, but this is more about the technical side of the room. I think I may do another video to kind of cover some of the memorabilia and that kind of thing that's in here because uh, there's a lot of cool things that uh, I've, I would love to share with you guys and kind of show you some stories uh, of where it came from and that kind of thing. Um, I'll reference a little bit of it going through because uh, you're going to see it. So there, there's that. Anyway, uh, if you are a fan of physical media, Blu-rays, and film collecting, and just cinema in general, please give me a like and a subscribe, and let's talk about physical media and talk about movies. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot to talk about with Universal putting their films uh, on demand right now because of uh, the corona situation. So the landscape of film is about to make a, a change, and I'm just curious to see what our recovery is going to be from this change. Or is, is this sort of an altering event where... Uh, cinema will be changed forever. I don't know. We're gonna see. It's kind of a big deal, though. So anyway, let's uh, let's get this uh, room tour started, shall we? Okay. So I'm not gonna give um, specific like model numbers and that kind of thing in the video, but I will try and provide all that stuff in the description if you're interested. If you want to pick up some of this stuff, I'm gonna tell you I'm very happy with the sound and image of this media room. So come in the door that we were just in front of and I'll just uh, pan up here real quick and show you what the room looks like. So I have three rows of uh, theater seats. This is my particular seat where I like to sit. I went ahead and pulled this out so you could see. Now, when you have a shaved head, this sort of um, faux leather is kind of sticky, so I always have to keep something you know, something here to, you know, keep the head from sticking. So I, 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 these actually, you pull this drawstring and it puts the seat out. I actually went this way instead of the, the electric to save a little money to be able to put toward my gear. And you can tell this is sort of my, when it's just me or not nine people, this is my control center here. Got the, uh, you know, my traditional Waterloo happening. Um, got to have that. And, uh, Got to have some cashews here because it's better for you than popcorn. Got the receiver, the direct TV, the Roku box, the projector, and a selection of controllers here, which um, got a couple of Xbox controllers. And then uh, we got the, uh, the switch controller. So on these seats also, I'll point out something interesting that's annoying is this guy right here. That sound is very annoying, but people can't seem to keep their hands out of it. That's a, an adapter. You can buy a, uh, a phone, my, uh, a cell phone stand or a, a bowl like for popcorn and that kind of thing. So you can see I have them right here on already, but I have switches here so I can kind of do various things. Because as I've said before, I'm, I, I do documentary filmmaking and corporate video production and that kind of thing. So I like to be able to control the room. Um, so with the switches, I can kill that light, which is the front set of cans to be able to work back there in the back and still project things. Um, I can go the opposite direction here, which I don't do that often. Usually if I'm doing that, I'll just do them both. And then you can see here, uh, I have some stair lights put in because you can kill yourself, but sometimes it's annoying to people so I can kill that too. Um, so let's go up the steps so I can let you see the screen. I'm just gonna go all the way because that's what we need to do. So there's the screen. That's the, the big boy in the room. It's 140 inches. Um, 
Gives me really beautiful black levels. This color screen, it's not white. Um, not much else to say about it. I'll give you the model number in the description. So you can see my front speaker here is my center and I've got two subs a matching set there, one on either side of the room. These are all Martin Logan, so my speakers are all Martin Logan. Uh, that's my tripod for work. Uh, as I mentioned, I'll go over some of the uh, memorabilia in the room in another another video, but this is Dramatica's uh, documentary feature that I did. That's available on Amazon Prime for streaming and then the other, I think I've talked about this before, on this show. That's Family of Fears, the documentary feature that's my most recent project, and you can get physical media copy of that from most places online, not in the store, but online, Walmart and uh, Best Buy and Amazon, and, and then it is on Amazon Prime also. All right, so let me come back around here and show you. So my sound setup, oh, really quickly, let's just go ahead and look at this. This is my projector. This is the Optoma UHD uh, 65, and I'm only saying this model number now on this one because it's important because there's several models in this line. There's the 55, the 60, and the 65. And I picked the 65 specifically because for my work, and also just for my love of film, I, I wanted native 4K projection. So many projectors out there are e-shift technology or some other type of upscaling, that kind of thing. I wanted it to be native right off the bulb. So that was the reason I went with the UHD 65. Uh, when I bought that one, everyone was all into the, to the, to a specific model of JVC, but it was an e-shift and I wanted, you know, I wanted uh, native 4K. I'll talk about these in another video. So it's 7.2.2 is my sound, so I have six speakers. I have three here on this wall, of course three on the other wall, then we've got the two subs. And I don't know if you can see it, they haven't been painted this, this gray yet, but I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna try and get a better shot. Uh, I'll show you, there you go, you can see that one for sure. There you can see them. I have four speakers uh, in the ceiling, those are also the Martin Logan speakers. So this color is important. This is peppercorn. I went with this color because I need the, the when we're watching a film or I'm doing some production work or whatever, I don't want reflections off the walls as much as I can avoid. But I also don't want the, want the walls to be pitch black when the lights are on. So this was the, the perfect color. And the problem is the speaker covers that, I, that I've had, they only come in this sort of uh, off-white, this beige color, which you can see the stair lights down there are that color. And I didn't, just didn't like the look of it and we couldn't get them in black. So my builder took these off, took the felt off the back of the speaker and painted them for me. And we had a lot of trouble with it because the paint was going inside the holes. So um, they eventually got it to stick, but you can see it just doesn't look that good. So if you know these speaker covers and know of black ones, let me know because I'm gonna have to replace these. Again, everything is Martin Logan. Let me see if I can get a grip on this thing and show you. If I can get this off with one hand. And I dropped it. Uh, anyway, there's the speaker. Um, these speakers are tilted just a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but we tilted them so that they actually point in the direction. That the rear speakers really are the ones that are tilted the most. They point in the direction of the chairs a little bit just to make sure we're getting the right sound. You can kind of see a little bit, you can kind of tell. how They did it just a little bit. Just grab that cover. Let's see if I can put it back on here. No, nope, I didn't get it right. All right, I'll come back to this. I'll come back and fix it later. Anyway, I just want to show you the room. So moving forward, again, great poster there. I'll come back to that piece of art here. So my space is really sort of the opposite of the mullet. It's party in the front and business in the back. So when we have movie nights or whatnot here, this is where everybody's chilling, having fun. But when I go back beyond that, this is where I work. Um, my production computer with the editing device there. 
I've just been cleaning a little bit, so that's there. Still got more cleaning to do, obviously. Um, and then we have an extra monitor. So what happens is, as an editor, I will edit on this computer. So I'm doing the actual cutting and work on video here. Uh, this monitor will display all the video clips that I'm working on. And then the actual edit, the preview of the edit happens on the big screen there. So this is, so if you can imagine if I'm sitting here, it's like the perfect spot behind this desk to, to see everything I need. Now I'm gonna go down and show you the gear. It's a little dark, but hopefully you can see enough. So my re receiver is a Marantz receiver. Right now, um, let's see, let me see if I can flip this open for you. So right now it, it's uh, defaulted to the media player, which is the Roku, and it's in stereo because it's not powered up. When I power it up and I switch it to um, a 4K Blu-ray or something like that, this will automatically switch over to the Atmos mix. We've got a couple of amps down here, and then we've got this Heos device up here. I don't know if you're familiar with the Heos device, but it interfaces with my receiver to let me be able to pipe music from here into other rooms in the house. I have a couple of speakers in the living room. It's sort of a living room, dining room, kitchen. It's all one giant room. I've got a couple of speakers in the ceiling there. I've got a, got, um, a dual single speaker that's dual, like stereo speaker in the master bathroom. And I also have a couple of speakers on our back porch for like grilling out, that kind of thing. And this thing allows me to pipe music from here and control it by this iPad I'm using to film or, or my phone or, or whatever. If you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask me. It's kind of been a complicated thing to get set up, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to spin you around here to another magic spot. I have a poster, like frame poster is a great gift for me for Christmas. I need to get this put up. It's going to go right there in that open spot. So this is the other spot. Depending on what kind of day I'm having, work-wise, this could be a party spot or it could be, you know, I'm exhausted and annoyed kind of thing. So this was a popcorn machine, was a great moving in gift here. And then we have selection of shot glasses and alcoholic beverages. Um, can't go wrong here, the big bottle of Bullet. You know, every hipster's got to have Tito's uh, vodka in there. I have weird selections of things because people bring me things. Um, this Mascal is George Clooney's company. It's really tasty stuff. Um, we got some moonshine in here, which is basically the southern corn-based equivalent of vodka. So it's just a good uh, mixing base. I am a musician, as you've noticed, with the guitars on the wall, and behind this uh, is my guitar amp and uh, briefcase and work stuff. That's... So, off to the side, I'll show you. Oh, and this, I don't know if you know, um, I haven't used this in a while, i got to clean this thing up. I'm going to start using it back here, though. It's an espresso coffee machine. You can do lattes and stuff like that. Got, got my uh, backups here, the Waterloo situation, a couple empties there because I haven't cleaned it up. I've got this, this is my drink fridge. I haven't loaded it. I got it pulled out because the door doesn't close as well as it should. So it needs to be rebalanced. So we've got it pulled out so we can do that. Um, but I, and I'm trying not to load it up too much. Uh, I want to show you this though. I'll recommend if you're a ginger, if you're a, if you're a uh, mule drinker like I am, I like a Kentucky mule or a Moscow mule, either one, I recommend this. Ginger beer, really good stuff. So hopefully I'm not making you sick spinning around. Um, if we come back here, this table here is where my videos are generally shot. This is what you guys normally normally see. Um, spoiler alert for future videos, I've got a stack here of new, new acquisitions. This is a Mevo camera, I use this for live streaming. It's really cool. Uh, on the wall there, again, we'll talk about some of this stuff later. So then we go to the back of the room and you can see I've done a complete collection series of series of videos where I show my complete collection. And you can check those out. I'll do a new one. I think I'm going to do an Arrow video specific collection because I've added so many things. <clears throat> I 
I do a podcast here on Wednesday nights called Culture Smash. You can find that on YouTube also, and that's why we have the extra chairs there so we can fold out for the other guests to come and that kind of thing. So this is the media room. Um, we come all the way to the back of the room so you can get a feel for the space. It's 35 feet wide and about 15, or 35 feet deep and about 15 feet wide. So um, I don't know what else I can tell you. These cabinets below here are where I store mostly camera gear, production work stuff. And, you know, toward the end there's a, uh, in, in the last cabinet I think I have board games and things. So that's, that's the media room, guys. This is the space. It's a Marantz receiver. Optoma projector, Heos amps, and um, multi-room management tool, and all my speakers are Martin Logan. And uh, there you go. That's the room. Let me know what you think of it. Um, let me know if you can think of anything cool that you think I, would, I should add, or or just give me your general thoughts. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking to see this space for a while, so I'm happy to finally show it. I've got the Amazon Echo there. Uh, for some reason, not working. Must have accidentally unplugged that. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, again, got some cool stuff to talk about very soon, probably within a couple of days. And uh, uh, I... so that'll bring us to the end of the video. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share, please. Uh, that helps me get the word out about the channel. Sorry about my phone in the background there. Um, and let me know other things you'd like to see on the channel. I would love to, to be able to share more with you guys on uh, physical media, movies, and that kind of thing. It's going to be a weird time. We're going to be all locked up, and I can't go to the theater. So I'm going to be watching a lot of movies, as I'm sure you will be too. So hit me up on OTS Movie Night and uh, share some photos of things that you're picking up. And, and uh, let me know what you're going to be watching during our quarantine session that's going on. And um, until the next video, pull something cool off the shelf. Share it with your friends and family and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and television shows. I'll see you soon.